Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. I've got a great opportunity this evening to show you a comparison between the three most common Volvo models that you'll find on the road today. On your far left is a Volvo Model 670. That is the model that Volvo makes the most of every year. In the middle, we've got a Volvo Model 780. That is Volvo's top-of-the-line model. This is the one that's almost always outfitted with all the options. And on your far right is one of the least common Volvo models. It's the Volvo 730. I want to talk to you today about Volvo model heights, differences in height, and differences in length and in width. Let's get closer up and show you those three external dimensions and how they really affect the look of these trucks. I have my camera set up right at eye level. I'm 5 foot 10 and I have the camera right at that eye level and I wanted to show you visually the difference between what's called a mid-rise sleeper, the one on the far right hand side, that Volvo 730, and the more common trucks, the 780 in the middle and the 670 on your left. The difference in height between the taller sleepers and the mid-rise sleepers is 1 foot 11 inches. Those two taller trucks are 13 feet 3 inches tall, to the, right to the top of the roof. The Volvo 730 on your right is 11 feet 4 inches tall. Now an aspect to consider is people tend to gravitate towards this 730. They think that visually from the side it looks a little bit more appealing. But I want to point out it's a, one of the least common trucks on the road. So what happens is when I'm trying to find a real cream puff, a beautiful Volvo 730, I look a long time. It took me two years to find a nice 730. They are, they are that uncommon on the road. The most common truck is the 670 on this side and the next most common truck is the 780 in the middle. So when there's more trucks for me to choose from, a greater volume out there on the road, more available used, I can be much more specific and more picky and get the really nice ones. You have to look a long time to find a 730. Another consideration is if I were to put a trailer, a standard fifth wheel RV behind these trucks, most trailers are 13 feet 6 inches tall. So they're actually 3 inches taller than the taller trucks that you have behind me. One of the common questions I get is, well, Greg, what about going into some of these campgrounds where there might be some low branches? Well, the reality is, you know, other people have traveled through all of those roads and all of those campsites. They're pulling in with 13 foot, 6 inch tall trailers. You're pulling in with a 13 foot, 3 inch tall truck in the case of a 670 or a 780. What I mention to people is, on top of the mirrors, I've got what I call feelers. We've got those antennas up there, and what'll happen is, we'll hear, or we'll notice those antennas go thung, thung, thung against one of those branches, and it'll give us a little heads up that we need to either pull to the side, because, hey, if the truck is gonna touch, the trailer's gonna touch those branches as well. So here's a little bit of a different angle, showing the height of the 730 closest to us, as compared to the 780 just in behind. Something else to note is, when you look at the front of these trucks, there's no difference. All of these trucks have a D13 engine in them, I-shift transmission, the workstation configuration in the back, that's the benches and the tables. So from the front, these trucks don't have much difference between them. The difference you are going to notice between these models is in the windows. The Model 730 has one window in the bottom. The Model 780 in the middle has a window top and bottom, and the model 670 on the end has a window only in the top. So that's the fast way of being able to tell the difference between these three models. Now you'll notice that I don't have one model sitting here, and that's the model 630. I want to point out that there is a low and short model 630 that is available, but it as well is one of the least common trucks on the road and I like to point out that that is often the base model with Volvo. You're never going to get a refrigerator. Table and workstation tends to have basic seats. Many times it doesn't have power windows, keyless entry, basic air conditioning and heating. 
it's really a base model and it's one that I just don't tend to look at at all. When customers find out that it doesn't have those creature comforts, it tends to be one that's not very attractive. So here's a good view of that model 670. You'll see the top window is the only one that's there. But now what I want to point out is the length. Now I've got all of the trucks perfectly lined up nose to nose. And if we go look at the difference in length now, there we go. I'm going to get the 730 and the 780 lined up. In the back, the rear trucks are the model 780 and 730. They are longer. From front bumper to back of cab, the longer trucks are 16 feet, 6 inches long. The model 670 that's close to us here is 15 feet, 6 inches long. So it is one foot shorter. And you can see that really it's that fairing about a foot, about 12 inches, that is the difference in length in these trucks. Now what I'm going to do is show you, after we single these trucks mid, what is the difference. There, we'll set the camera down. The two closest trucks to you have been singled mid. So we have taken the rear axle and moved it exactly in between where the two axles from the factory used to be. The model 670, because it's a shorter truck, you'll see that when it's singled mid, it is a little bit of a shorter truck by one foot compared to the 780 directly behind it. Now, the distance from the back of the cab to that axle is the same on both of those trucks, but because the front of the bumper on the 780 to the back of the cab on a 780 is longer by one foot. That axle has been moved rearward one foot. Now here's a view from the back of the trucks. A 670, a 780, and the 730 on our left. You'll see that they've all been converted to a weed burner. The one on the left, by the way, we're not quite done. We're still in the conversion process with that one. But really, between the 670 and the 780, there's very little difference. Lots of room back there for installing a drum box or a storage box. But really, nothing appreciably different between them. But I will mention the Model 670 has a slightly narrower sleeper. If you look at the 780, the fairings that come out towards us this way are pretty well straight back. The 670 does have a slight curvature. Let me show you that from a different angle. So there's a straight on view of the 670. You can see that the fairings have a little bit of a curvature. It's about approximately a six inch difference in width. This 670 is six inches narrower than the 780. The last point of comparison that I want to make between these three models is on price. Because the 670, the one to this side, is the most common truck on the road these days, there's more used ones on the road, and therefore, because of competition, they're the best value. The Model 780 in the middle, well, it's the, the top of the line. It's the largest, widest, longest, tallest model that Volvo makes. They don't make as many of them, but they're definitely the kind of model that my full-timing customers tend to gravitate towards because they have the most storage, the most space inside. They're really nice if you're going to be using your RV hauler for day trips, for taking the motor home on its own. Now the 730, because it's one of the least common trucks on the road, harder to find, and people that are selling them, well they know they've got something that's a little bit more special, so they are a little bit more expensive. Out of all of the three, we go cheapest to most expensive. Well, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions about our RV hauler customizations, you know our website is www.rvhaulers.ca. Thank you.